Afternoon everyone. So today we're at a Nissan. And it's a Nissan Micra. And it's the Micra S. So I'm not actually sure what engine size this is, but uh, I think it's maybe the 1.4. I'm not really sure. But it's a Q the K12 model. So that makes it a 2005. Now, the customer's complaint with this little car is on Saturday night, the lady was out at a restaurant and she came out and the car started. But when she went to turn the steering wheel, it was heavy. So it didn't have any electronic power steering assistance. And I'll show you the fault codes uh, Roddy pulled from it this morning. So there's the codes. It's a C1606 electronic power steering motor. A E1608 control unit and a C1609 can vehicle speed. So that was the three codes that Roddy pulled from it. So we went and recovered it today and when we went to it, the thing was absolutely perfect. We were getting assistance. So I thought I'd have a little look at it on the scan tool. Incidentally, this is the motor we worked on a long while ago. I don't know if you remember it. It was having problems with the ignition switch, the starter, and the problem... The problem was actually within the IA within the fuse box, so we ended up just putting this button on it. And this is now the, this is now the starter switch. Wait, you see this? This is fantastic. There we go. And it's been like that for four years, and worked perfectly. That's what it was. We were needing it. We were requiring a BCM, and uh, this little button didn't have to be with the need for that. Anyway, so I thought I'd go back in, and we have to really clear the codes. I thought I'd go in and look, see if it had reoccurred again. So look, no faults detected. But there's not much we can do with this at the moment because if you watch this, we'll select all the PIDs, go OK, and then the biggie here is the motor current. Well, the, the rest are biggies too, but if we turn this round, uh, who's going to put this scan? I'll put this scan to up here, you can watch it. There you go, all these pids are working, you can especially the motor current, so we'll go to motor current, we'll graph that. There we go, we usually pull about 30 amps on this, so 30 amps, well, there we go, it's actually quite quite high, yeah? It was up there, well it peaked, just over 60 amps, and we go the other way. It goes down to 30 odd amps, but I think averaging, there we go, it's usually about 30 amps. So, it's working at the moment, but what I would say about this is, this is the one that has the little motor on the steering shaft for assistance. And you can actually, I don't know if you can, you can see it through there, the, the motor, it does assistance for the electronic power steering. So it's a bit like the Vauxhall, and these are notorious for failure. So it may be working at the moment, so we really kind of condemn it till it happens again, but my money is on that little motor down there. And I would think it's the motor and the electronic power steering control module in one, but We'll just have to wait, see if it comes back, as I say, but we can't do nothing at the moment, because it's working. Cheers.